Hey guys, Ali here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing one of Manchester's most iconic and popular takeaways, Trap Kitchen. Now, these guys have actually been suggested to me or certainly requested to review many, 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 many times. I just, for one reason or another, haven't managed to actually do a review for these guys, but excited to say I'm gonna do a review today. I'm hungry, fancy some good, good food. So really, really excited to show you guys what these guys serve. But just before I do that, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos. We're building a really, really cool foodie community here. So enjoy the video, make sure you enjoy. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Right, so I've driven here. They have a system whereby at the moment, due to the pandemic, you need to stand outside, they'll come out, take your order, uh, take what you want to eat uh, and drink, and then they'll actually bring the food to your car. So you order, just sort of knock on the door, uh, they'll come out, they'll take your order and then you go back to your car and they'll bring the food out to you, to your car. So I'm going to move now into the car and I'll just wait for my food. Right, so yeah, in the car now, like I said, I'm just uh, waiting for my food. One of my followers actually on Instagram told me to get their grape drink, which asked the gentleman in there, it's called the Trep Medicine. So it looks like this. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about it, apart from the fact that it's uh, grape flavored and it's got a really cool purple color. So, just like I said, wait for the food. So whilst that comes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually try this. So if you can hear sort of typing and working away, we're working over our lunch today. So let's try it. That's pretty good. It's got a very strong grape flavor actually. So true to the color, it's very, it, it tastes purple. <laughs> it's actually got a strong grape flavor. It's really nice. Looking forward to my food, but that is pretty good stuff. Right, so my food is here. Not too much of a long wait, actually. I think it was about 15 minutes or so, which, which seems pretty good, but I have come just as they've opened, which is three which is three o'clock every single day. I've gone for the ballers combo. That seemed like it would be a good option. It's got quite a few uh, different bits and bobs on there. We've got a lobster tail, which looks absolutely fantastic, by the way. We have some prawns. We have some rice in there, which we could have got rice or mac and cheese. I, I picked rice. We've got some chicken, um, chicken wings. I should say they look really, really good. And on the side, we've got some sweet waffles as well. So the waffles look a little bit cool, actually. The whole thing looks really good. I have to say it looks the part. It smells great. I'm just gonna tuck in now. Right, so let's start with, let's go with the wings. It looks good. I love the cooking of it. It's got some sauce on there, looks very flavorful. Mmm. That is just good kick to that. There's a touch of sweetness to balance that kick actually. The meat itself is delicious. It's very, very flavorful. There's quite a few wings here as well actually. There's one, two, there's four wings and they're all a good size as well. That is a really good start. I enjoy the wing. Right, so moving on now to the prawns, which have uh, a nice looking sauce on. I must admit, I didn't ask what the sauce was, so uh, this would be a little bit of a, a surprise, really. Let's try it. I'm trying to place the sauce. It's got a little bit of sweetness, like a tiny bit of kick to it, maybe a tiny bit of sriracha, maybe in there, maybe some cayenne. I'm not sure what that sauce is. It's got a good amount of sweetness to it, though. Prawns themselves are, are decent. They're battered. They've got a good crunch to them. I like the cooking on those as well. They're not bad. I'm not a massive fan of prawns, but I think for prawn lovers, I think you'll be happy with those. But yeah, quite rich, quite creamy, that sauce. I, I don't know what the sauces have, to be honest, guys, but rich, creamy, pretty good. Moving on now to the lobster tail. It's a pretty good size. Lobster tail is one of the more expensive parts of a lobster. Uh, it's super meaty, so it looks pretty, pretty large. It looks pretty good. It's a good portion size, I would say. I'm just gonna stick my fork in and actually try and get some of the meat out for you and let you know what I think. Guys, I just, I just fingered it and I'm gonna go straight in. That lobster is super meaty. It's really flavorful. Um, I would say they've probably grilled it for a touch too long. I think lobster should have a nice springiness to it. That does have some springiness to it. And it is, I would say it's more like meaty than, than I would like. I, I tend to prefer my lobster steamed. Still really good though. I love the flavoring they've used on that. I love that you get a lot of it. I think it's a really, really good introduction to lobster. If you haven't had a lobster before, I do think it's a good introduction because honestly, purely in the way that they've they've chosen to cook it, I think this is a, a choice that they've made, is it's grilled, 
lots of flavor, and they've given it a more of a sort of a meaty texture. Generally, I prefer to go places like Taipan in Manchester where they actually steam the lobster with like some soy and ginger. It's got a really, really good sort of gib and springiness to it, and it's just super soft. But honestly, guys, really big portion and good as well. It is tasty. I would recommend it to someone who maybe is a little bit nervous about trying lobster, but they still want to try it, right? This is a really, really good introduction to lobster. One of the more unique aspects of Trap Kitchen is actually in the boiler's box. They actually, on one side, you've got savory food and the other side, you've actually got sweet food. Uh, I've opted for waffles and it looked like, it, maybe it's like a white chocolate, maybe like an icing with um, some of these sprinkles on top. Looks pretty good, let's give it a go. Very sweet. <laughs> Really large portion of waffles there, actually. You've got four, they're massive. It looks like a white chocolate sauce, but I think it's more of like an icing, actually. It is pretty good. It's not overly sweet, which I was surprised with. Everything else is absolutely like doused in, in flavor. This is not super, super sweet, which is a, a good thing. I do think maybe remove one of the waffles and just give me a bit more meat. <laughs> but four sort of chunky, large bits of waffle is also a good thing as well. So if you've got a sweet tooth, that I think will be nice as a, like a dessert really, after your lobster. Oh, I actually almost forgot to try the rice. You can either have rice or mac and cheese. Uh, I asked the gentleman what he prefers. He said rice, so I went with rice. Let's try it. Um, the only thing I don't necessarily like on this really is, is the rice. The rice feels a, a touch hard, actually. Um, I don't know if that's a, a choice. It, it doesn't feel fresh, actually. It's the only thing, I, I probably should have got mac and cheese, but I like rice, so I thought. You know, they like rice, the guy asked, he likes rice, I like rice, I thought let's get rice, but it doesn't necessarily taste fresh to me actually at all. It tastes a day old actually, if I'm being completely honest. Everything else I really, really enjoyed, but as you guys know, I like to be completely honest in all my reviews. So whilst I do like everything else, the rice actually, I have to say, is, is pretty poor. Thought we'd have a little bit of change of scenery really for my final thought. So overall, enjoyed my meal. I think it's a good takeaway for someone who maybe a, hasn't tried lobster before, so I think it's a really good introduction into lobster, or B, likes their lobster really heavily flavoured, because of course you could have lobster typically steamed, and it's absolutely delicious with some light seasoning, but here they're like full on flavour, right? So yeah, if you haven't tried lobster before, I think it's a good introduction to lobster. I think it's reasonably priced. I've had lobsters that are significantly more expensive than here, so I think it's priced well. It's got a good combination of flavours with the chicken, the prawns, uh, the rice, the waffles. The waffles I was a bit met on, if I'm being completely honest, but I can see what they're trying to do. Full of flavor, something a little bit different, and priced fairly effectively for the actual ingredients. So yeah, I can definitely appreciate what they're trying to do with their flavors. They're trying to bring something new to the area. Good quality produce. Really, really good overall. Like I said, I do enjoy it. Good introduction to lobster, but I would say, guys, if you like lobster here, which I do, my personal favorite, if I have to, if I can just plug another place in into this video, is a Chinese place called Taipan. Now they actually have a vastly different menu. Obviously it's a Chinese place, it's a dim sum place. They steam their lobster with like ginger and soy and garlic, it's absolutely delicious. So it's actually very different. So that, that comparison, as I say it, I realize the comparison is not that strong to be honest at all. <laughs> but try these guys out. Let me know what you think. After you have it, go to Taipan, get the lobster there, and let me know what you think as well. But guys, that does take me to the end of the video. If you like the video, please make sure to take two seconds to hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye 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 b